Hi guys, as you see, at the moment I cannot continue building the Blenheim, which is my primary project, because I made an oopsie. Oh yes, I broke my shoulder in an air scooter accident. So my left hand is bandaged to my belly. Literally, it is useless at the moment. I tried to continue building the Airfix Blenheim with one hand, and trust me, I tried hard. But I failed sending the fuselage, because it looks sending is the only step which needs two hands. I was upset because modeling is part of my life. But then I look at it myself and I saw a model kit which I never thought that I ever start building. And that was this model kit, the Hobby Boss 170 second scale La 7 Easy Kit. This model kit was a prize for a child modeling contest. My daughter winned it. That was four years ago. This kit can build two separate ways. You can click together everything, or you can build it as a regular model kit with glue. And this was the option what I chose. The LA-7 is not my favorite Lovochkin aircraft. I prefer the predecessor more, the LA-GG-3. Especially the early versions with a lot of nose-mounted guns. But this is what I have, so I'm happy with these. So let's build this model kit. I bought this white plastic cover in IKEA and with blue tech I can hold parts steady while I'm working. I can build the 2 cannon version or the 3 cannon version LA-7 from this kit. Unluckily, it gives painting schemes only for the 2 cannon version. Because this is an easy kit, there are non-existing details like the cockpit floor and the steering rod, so I made them. Because I'm not able to send smooth the surfaces, I choose another technique. I fill the gaps with Mr. Hobby's surfacer. And after drying, I wipe it smooth with Mr. Hobby's thinner. The canopy is designed to click in to its place, but I don't like this method. Gluing is more close to my heart.
So I have two hands again. Taking down the bandage was a real redemption. Despite I can't lift more than this, I am really happy. By talking about the LA7, it is ready to be airbrushed. This step is always like turning to the last straight on the racetrack before the finish line. The work is done. Lot of things happened with the model kit and with me. But let me introduce the finished LA7. So the LA7 is finished. And if you ask me what is it like modeling with one hand, well, it is possible. If I were a challenge type guy, I would have enjoyed it more. But I'm not. But building something during the recovery felt awesome. Or another question, is this a real model kit or a toy? Well, I think it depends how do you build it. But what do you think? Is this a real model kit? I mentioned that I like the LA7's predecessor more, the LAGG3. Here is a late version of the LAGG3 what I built a few years ago from Eastern Express. And here is an earlier fast fighter from the Second World War, the MiG-3 from Zvezda. Thank you for watching.